so uh, I was hoping there is a slide looks like a one slide is missing okay all right so let me explain what a handler is handler is basically a filter uh, so you know if you're writing a servlet there is a fil servlet filter which is actually inserted before and after uh, so that it can intercept incoming HTTP request and you can do anything you want for example logging authentication access control uh, you know whatever uh, the Jax web services handler is actually playing exactly the same role but this is for soap request so it will be intercepting incoming soap request and you can do anything you want including caching logging uh, the authentication, uh, whatever, uh, and uh, it will it will also intercept outgoing response message. And again, you can change it and uh, in you know whatever you want to do. Okay, so uh, that is handler. Okay, so uh, Jax Web Services provides a handler interface, and uh, it contains handle message and handle fault. Okay, and it provides a context object. Okay, and this context object is a message context object and uh, you can actually uh, get the message as well as you can find out where the message is inbound and outbound, out outbound. Now there are two sub interfaces of this handler interface. One is a SOAP handler interface and this uh, the other one is a logical handler interface. Okay, So there are three interfaces that are provided by JAX Web Services. Alright so uh, let's talk about this handler type. So SOAP handler uh, objects have access to full SOAP message including headers. Okay, so if you need to have an access to SOAP headers, then you want to use SOAP header interface. Okay, uh, if you want to, uh, and the logical handler is independent of the protocol and have access only to the payload of the message, meaning it will just have a, it will just have an access to the just the content. Okay, the data that is being sent from the client. Okay. So if you don't care about SOAP header structure, uh, then you can use logical handler interface. So this is an example of logical handler interface. So I have a logical, uh, my logical handler class, which implements a logical handler. Uh, and uh, logical handler has a generic type of uh, logical handler context. Okay. Okay, so it does implement a single uh, the uh, uh, important method in this case is handle message. Okay, so basically handle message will receive logical message context object, and uh, you can get the message uh, by calling get message method from the message context object, and this basically represents the payload, uh, the meaning just the data data uh, that is coming from the client. So that's logical handler. Uh, SOAP handler, on the other hand, has a complete access. Let's you have a complete access to the SOAP message, including header structure. So in this case, I have my SOAP handler, which implements SOAP handler interface, and this again receive uh, this again uh, the uh, you implement handle message method. This this time is going to receive SOAP message context object rather than logical message context object. And then when you get the uh, SOAP message, this SOAP message includes both headers as well as um, SOAP bodies. Okay. All right. So that is the end of the presentation. So let's take a look at the uh, hands-on lab. So again, it's pretty simple uh, hands-on lab. So exercise one is uh, SOAP handler, and exercise two is logical handler. Okay. So again, we are going to just open the project and run the project, and we'll take a look at the code. So here, oh, so yeah, so we are basically adding uh, the uh, message handler, uh, in this case, SOAP message handler, to the Hello Web service that you guys have built before. Okay, but it's already, this Hello Web, Hello Web service is provided under Hands On Lab samples under NetBeans directory. So you can just open this one, or you can use the Hello Web service that you built before. Okay, so here we are going to add SOAP uh, handler. So in this case you say right click new and other and on the web service on the web services you are going to create a message handler so select message handler and uh, then you're gonna name it as my message handler and then you provide your package uh, so I I say my package 2 or whatever package of your choice then it will create the skeleton code of my message handler Okay. 
and uh, so this is what we are going to see so as you can see it just added some bunch of uh, lines of code and which includes handle message so here uh, in the handle message we are going to do very simple things so we are going to just uh, you know so this is actually added uh, by the uh, the uh, NetBeans so we're going to just comment this out and then what we're going to do is we're going to call log to system out and then you know basically we are passing the message context object and this is our code we are just logging it okay so in this case uh, when you call the get message method of the message context object what you get back is a soap message okay yeah so we haven't really talked about the sage yet uh, so but soap with attachment in SOAP with attachment job, uh, the AP, API for Java. So, you know, SOAP message class is basically representing the whole SOAP message. Okay. So, what we can do is we can get the SOAP body and then get the co text context, and that is a content, right? And uh, we also display whether this is inbound or outbound. Uh, we can find that out from the message context object. Okay. Uh, so, we get that property and if it is the uh, outbound then we say this is outbound message and if it is inbound then we're gonna say inbound message okay and then we are going to so we write the uh, this handler code but we have not configured it yet okay so we're gonna configure this handler so we are going to uh, right click this hello web service and then select configure handlers so once you got configure handlers basically you can add handlers Okay, so add handler, and then you actually specify your my message handler. You select the my message handler you just created. Okay, and um, and uh, click OK, and then uh, then so basically when you do this, it's it's going to create hello handler.xml file. Okay, so if you take a look at the hello handler.xml file, you can see. Uh, it actually specifies the name of the uh, the uh, handler and the actual class. In this case, you know the name and the class are the same. Okay. Okay. So now you can run the uh, you can test the uh, web service. So you deploy first, then you're going to test it. So when you do the test, basically you are playing the role of a client. Okay. So when you test the application, like uh, say hello and javapassion.com or jpassion.com, you can see uh, there are handler log message being displayed. So the uh, the uh, uh, is basically one is inbound, uh, it's get intercepted for the incoming message, and it get the outbound message is also intercepted. <coughs> okay, so that is a soap message handler, which is pretty simple. A uh, logical handler, on the other hand, have an access to data contents, but it works exactly the same. So we are going to create uh, the uh, uh, logical handler, okay, instead of the uh, message handler, and uh, we're going to call it my logical handler and uh, my package three, and then we are basically adding code to my logical handler, a skeleton code that was uh, created by NetBeans. And uh, here, basically, again, you know, we are just displaying. Uh, we just display the direction. Okay, so we get the direction, and then uh, we are going to just uh, dump the message by calling dump message. And dump message is again calling get message, and uh, then you know we get the uh, uh, payload uh, object, and then we are going to just display that payload message. Okay. Uh, so we call uh, if the source object is not null, then we just do the source, and we also get the uh, get source as a string. Okay, and uh, then yeah, so get source as a string is basically uh, you know displaying things uh, to the standard output device, okay, which is the console. So again, you have to configure this, okay, and uh, you configure this, and so right now we should have one logical handler and one message handler meaning one soap message handler okay and uh, then you're going to deploy deploy and then you're going to test it again you know by sending a client request and now this time you should be able to see uh, messages from both uh, content handler as well as uh, the uh, message handler as well as a co uh, logical uh, handler okay so this is uh, yeah so these messages are from uh, logical handlers okay Alright, so that's it. So I'm going to give you guys about uh, 13 minutes to finish this exercise.